Hello and welcome to BWTV. This is Bridge Pahawa again. I have with, today with me Mr. Anil Sharma, who is the owner of Delhi Dynamos, and founder and CEO of GMS. Thank you, Mr. Sharma, for giving BW Business World your time. Thank you very much for coming down here. It's a pleasure. Great. Thanks. Uh, my first question to you, uh, Mr. Sharma, is NRI, uh, somebody who has lived away from India, uh, somebody in the business which is primarily B2B, uh, in the shipping business, buying and selling ships. What, which thought went through your mind when you pertained the idea that now I'll go to India and invest in ISL in a team called Delhi Dynamos? Yeah, I think it all seems like in hindsight a crazy plan, but okay. Uh, uh, I'm not much into sports. Growing up, uh, I grew up with cricket mm -hmm. and I've been out of India now for about 35 years. Mm -hmm. And uh, when my son returned from US, he was born and brought up in US. Mm -hmm. And he said, join my shipping business. And he's a big sports fan, uh, really American sports, you know, American football, mm -hmm. uh, basketball and so forth. And uh, we started discussing the various sports options mm -hmm. And, and you know, one day we were sitting and he was saying that, you know, really sports, the business of sports is quite similar to the business of shipping. And I was surprised because he was saying just like you buy and sell ships in, in American, because he, he follows the American football draft very carefully. Okay. He said it's pretty much the same. You're buying and selling players. And I said, well, that's interesting, you know, similarity. So over the period of time, you know, we started talking about different things. And he said he really would like to get involved in sports. Mm -hmm. And obviously he was thinking all the time about U.S. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking all the time about India. And I said, okay, if you're going to do sports, then it has to be India. And now, you know, he has never lived in India. He has never really he has come here as a visitor. So we started thinking, and uh, what sport? Uh, and uh, to us, to him, it was mainly football. Because it's, it's a global sport. And I have friends who own football clubs. And we have been to these, their football games. Mm. And, uh, and I felt, well, that is, a, that is a challenge. It's a sport in India, it's not common, but globally, it's the number one sport. Yeah, so there, there's a fact, uh, after uh, cricket in India, mm -hmm. football has the majority following. But uh, that following is restricted to following na international players rather than the domestic uh, 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 football games or championships in India. ISL, in a way, is trying to change that. Do you think, would ISL be successful in... Uh, Bridge, it's a good question. It's a very good question. Uh, I was at in Real Madrid Stadium. Uh, I had a private tour. Uh, and in Real Madrid, there was a whole wall uh, uh, which shows the global, mm. uh, the world. And uh, there's red lights that gives tweets from different parts of the world. And I was looking at this wall, and if I recall correctly, the number three place was from India. Was India. I was shocked. I thought India, it's not a footballing nation. Yeah. And yet, you know, you had uh, Europe and you had South America and then it was India. So, well, so there is actually a fan yeah. base. Yeah. What, we, what we are hoping to do is, you know, uh, kids these days, you have access to everything. You know, it's, it's on the internet. They, they want to watch the best. They want to watch real professional football. Yeah. And if you're able to deliver that to them, I think they will. And you know, as I said uh, this afternoon in one of the, uh, you know, uh, our get launching that, you know, we like to think global, but act local. So this is what we are hoping that, you know, uh, and, you know, we like the youth. Hmm. And the idea is, you know, when I was growing up, uh, you really had to be a doctor or, or, or an engineer, you know, and we really want to give, you know, kids, India is a big population and uh, the, the young people, them opportunities to, uh, you know, to have a career in, in different things and sports and fitness to me is something normally you can associate with the development of a, of a developed country. You mm -hmm. know? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, the more the progression they are, you start thinking. Mm -hmm. And I think India is there. It's on the path. It's, it's, it's an em not just an emerging market. It's, it's fast tracking to one of the... Yeah, the, the potential yeah. in the market right now is huge since we have the, uh, the second highest population of millennials in the world. Uh, yeah, it's, it's a huge, huge potential. Educated, yeah. uh, intelligent, mm. you know, aware of the world. So we hope to convert that. I mean, that's the whole idea. It's, it's, it's mm. not easy mm. converting and, and introducing a new sport. Mm. 
the idea is at least those who are watching these, uh, the, these uh, EPL and La Liga teams yeah. will start converting to our, our... But isn't there an area of concern? Um, I mean, uh, when I say ISL, the, the sellout ratio is 60%. When I say sellout ratio, I uh, 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 primarily mean the audience in the stadium. When compared to the English Premier League, where the sellout ratio is about 96%, the American National Football League, where it is 93%. Uh, in India, although the nation is a millennium, they are football fans, but it is only generating 60% of audience when it comes to stadiums. Isn't cause of concern? Do you think it will improve? We knew what we are getting into. Maybe I the mean, league is in the nation. Stage. It's yeah, it's yeah. it's a real challenge. I mean, as I said, you're trying to introduce, if that's the right word, a new sport, and and what we are looking at is how we can expedite the growth rate. You know, the growth rate is there. You know, anybody you speak with saying in five years and mm -hmm. six years and seven years and ten years. The challenge we have is, you know, we want to accelerate that growth because in five years, six years, football is an expensive sport. Mm -hmm. We have to get uh, foreign players. Mm -hmm. When we try to get a foreign player or coaches, you're competing mm -hmm. with the world. And so it's, it's not easy. It's very expensive. Our sponsors, potential sponsors, are not seeing the value yet. Yeah, exactly. My next question was uh, based on that. Uh, seeing the numbers uh, when compared to maybe IPL or Kabaddi, uh, are sponsors really interested in uh, putting money in since you are an investor? Not, I mean, not yet. I mean, especially not Delhi is a very difficult market. You okay. know, I mean, if you own in Kerala, in Calcutta, in Northeast, Goa, I mean, I think that's relatively there, easy. There's the local uh, passion for football right. is great. These are these are footballing states, yeah. so I think it's a little bit easier there. But I think Delhi certainly is one of the probably the toughest market I think in the league. Um, so it's 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 been a real tough struggle. Why not um, invest in one of the IPL teams then? You know, the idea is is really if you're going to do something, you do something uh, which. Uh, I don't know if it's a high risk, high reward, yeah. but something that really moves the mm -hmm. needle a bit. You know, cricket is an established sport, and it's a good sport, it's a great sport, but it's not a global sport. Being out of India for about 35 years, you know, and having offices globally, mm -hmm. and shipping is a truly global yeah, enterprise. Yeah. So my view, subconsciously, has become very global. And if I want to do something, it has to be a global perspective. Mm. Our company says global marketing as well. <laughs> yeah, <absolutely. laughs> so it has to be a global sport. Yeah. So uh, bringing on board Jacqueline last month, I guess 5th of October is when uh, uh, Dairy Dynamo's named Jacqueline as their brand ambassador. Uh, has it helped you in the outreach, the kind of which you wanted? Well, we haven't uh, done so much mileage. In fact, we had our kit launch just a few hours ago. Yeah. And we just came. And this is the first time and she's officially been mm. in introduced the new kit has been introduced mm -hmm. and I think our, our marketing team is going to try to now, you know, see what kind of mileage we get out of that. Um, when I say, what does it mean? Mm -hmm. I hope our inter interest is to get more, you know, women uh, to watch as well. You know, in, in Delhi, I say we think differently. Lack of international players has been a problem in ISL. Now, when I say lack of international players, I, I talk about the Zavis, you know, the, the great the, the Ronaldinos, the Ronaldos of the, of the football fraternity. When compared to IPL, when compared to Pro Wrestling League, for example, they're really getting the Olympians on board. They're really getting the, the, the best of the best wrestlers in the world on board. ISL has been criticized in Indian media for not being able to get the best in the, the football league on board. Um, well, I think the examples you gave is apples and oranges to me. I mean, these are relatively they are smaller sports like mm -hmm. wrestling. Like I said, football is the number one sport in the world. And, and a lot of these countries, it's a religion. You know, in Europe, in South America, um, football players, you know, the, no other sport you have salaries like you have in football. You know, just saw Neymar, what was that, about $350 million. Yeah, maybe it's the com commitment is issue as well because the leagues go on for about a year outside of India. In India only the well, league is Well, you have to compare it with the business angle as well. I mean, you know, obviously, you know, none of us can afford to, even the league, put pay $300 million to, a, to an athlete to come in. So when you say the best of the best, mm. it, they, it comes with a very, very heavy price tag at a time when the league has not done. Well, Delhi has still done relatively well. We had Del Piero the first yeah. year. We had Roberto Carlos. I mean, these are big names. 
And uh, last year, Maluda, I mean, uh, Zamrota, I mean, it's all good names. I don't know what is best of the best, obviously, not the Ronaldos and the Neymars of this world, mm. but, uh, you know, I don't think even the Chinese can afford them, you know, those are very hefty. Yeah. You don't get the value for money kind of thing. Um, but I think this year we actually moved away from the foreign players because I think the quality of our Indian players is coming up. We have bought, brought in a very seasoned coach and I was just speaking with them uh, day before yesterday. And he said actually he likes Indian players. They have good talent, you know, and very soon he can see Indian players being in the International League. And that's the whole idea. Our idea was not to bring, you know, foreign players and showcase them to the Indian. I mean, that you can watch on YouTube or one of the yeah. sports channels yeah. anyway. It doesn't have to be. Idea is to, to really develop our Indian talent. That's the objective here. Yeah. Yeah, look forward for DD to win this time? Absolutely. I mean, we have made in the semi-finals twice. Yeah. Never we got a breakthrough, yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> I hope we break the jinx this year, and maybe Jacqueline Fernandez is a very <laughs> lucky charm, you know, who breaks that, you know. Great, <laughs> so great, great. Thank you, Mr. Sharma, for oh, giving us time. Thanks, oh, you're welcome. Thank you. Thanks.